Hi everyone, I want to show you one of my calculus books. This is Single Variable Calculus by Robert Adams. And it's a really good looking book. It's really well made. And as the name implies, it is for single variable calculus. I believe this book was published in the 80s. Let's take a look inside it. It's got some geometric formulas on the inside cover. Robert A. Adams. Professor, Department of Mathematics, the University of British Columbia. Single variable calculus, cool. You can see here, talks a little bit about Robert Adams. And then 1983, that's when this book was made. I just gotta give it a whiff, it's just really nice. Ah, so nice. Dedicated to the memory of Dr. Ronald C. Riddle. And here it talks a little bit about the book. It's a complete introduction to the calculus of functions of a single variable. It is organized for a two semester course and treats all of the topics usually covered over such a period. So the equivalent of perhaps calculus one and calculus two in the US. Let's take a look at the contents. Functions, limits, and continuity. Pretty standard. Then talks about differentiation, definition, interpretation, and techniques. The chain rule, implicit differentiation. The elementary transcendental functions. Here it talks about the natural log, the exponential function, and then various applications of differentiation. So extreme values, concavity, sketching, some optimization problems. You'll notice there's no, um, oh, here it is, never mind, related rates. <laughs> so it is there. I, I missed it. Yeah, so it does, it does seem to have. I'm looking with a careful eye and I don't, like it seems like it has everything, right? Everything that you would cover in a Calc 1, Calc 2 class. Apparently whoever owned this book before me was was circling things in the book. Yeah, applications of integration. Yeah, this is Calc 2 stuff, centroids. Cool, infinite series. Yeah, it's definitely Calc 2 stuff. And power series representations of functions and appendices. Yeah, interesting. It's got some nice topics. Nice topics in here. I Oh, there it is. Parametric curves. Yeah, it does have parametric curves and smooth curves. Okay, I'm trying to think. Is anything missing? But it seems like it has all of the content that's typically uh, taught in Calc 1, Calc 2. This book is pretty good. I've, I've used it uh, just perusing it, and I've done some problems, and I've read a couple sections. Uh, and I thought it was pretty interesting. It's a little bit different than the newer books. That's something you're going to get uh, with an older book from the 80s. I don't think this book is that expensive. Uh, you could probably get it for not much. I'll try to leave a link in the description. It's got pretty good exercises. Let's take a look here so you can see. This is the exercises on, uh, these are the exercises on the set for differential, uh, differentiation rules. This is where you study differentiation rules. And so this exercise set has tons of examples. Wow, look at that one. Yeah, loads of, loads of fun there. That's pretty tricky. I guess you can bring it upstairs and use the product rule because there's the one up top there. Fun. Yeah, so it looks kind of interesting. Interesting problems. As far as answers, uh, I'm pretty sure this one has answers to the odd numbered problems. Yeah, it does. Answers to the odds. So that's pretty good. But yeah, just an old school, older calculus text from the 80s. Um, it's pretty solid. It's got clean explanations. I mean, it's not a bad book. Um, and it's just another option. You know, I think this is good for someone who is taking calculus now and wants like extra problems because you get extra problems here. And sure, you only have answers to the odd ones, but it's kind of nice to have, you know, extra problems with answers. So considering how many problems there are in this book, the fact that you get answers, it really helps. Like for example, here there's 32 problems. So you get answers for 16 of them. That's pretty good. I mean, it's better than zero and that's just one section. So. Yeah, nice book. Just thought I'd make a quick video to show you. Um, it's a pretty good book on single variable calculus. It's nice as a supplement, and you could use it for self-study. Anyways, until next time, good luck and take care.